Hello, how are you all doing it again? It's Monday, it can only mean one thing, it is the quiz. I may be a wee bit late because of Linda just coming on to chat to you. So hopefully you've seen that. If you've missed Linda, go back on to Can Can page and you can listen to her. She's asking a few questions to you. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Gar. You are the first ones. And you know how the quiz works by now. The quiz works that when we get to zero, it asks you a question. You have four possible answers. All you have to do is say one, two, three or four. Gar, if you're having a bad day, I don't know why. Things are good. It's a Monday, it's quiz time. What more could you want? <laughs> and you've stuck with me, this maniac. You've got me. Hopefully, you had a good weekend. Weather wise, it wasn't too bad. I know this week um, it's going to change, it's going to get wet. Bleh. Yeah, it's going to get wet. There's not much we can do. We've had it quite nice for a wee while. Um, so, the weather is to change. Hi, William. Hello, Sandra. How are you? Oh, in Clock Mills. Just looking out. I'll do a wee weather report. Mm, overcast today, I would say. What's it like where you are? Um, I'm just looking on the phone. There we go. I'm I'm live now. That's good. I can see it here. You had a bad dream. Dreams are not good. Some dreams are horrible. Was it a nightmare? You do get nightmares. Thankfully, I haven't had one in a while. No, Gary, nobody hates you. Why would people hate you? We're all one big family. We are the calm family. Um when we're here, everybody is together. We're all in this together. As the song goes, we're in it together. We'll all get through it. So we will. So you know how the, the quiz works. The so same whenever this here counts down, this side. Oh, can you see my big swollen hand? I've done something to it. It's all swollen. It's been sore the past couple of days. <laughs> Whatever I've managed to do. So I've got a big swollen hand here. So if you excuse it, whenever I'm doing this to you, a real good Bally Money sham there. Uh, Korean bass is on today. Question is, how good are they today? We will find out very soon. As usual, you've got 40 questions. All you have to do is uh, one, two, three, or four. It's as simple as that. So I'm a wee bit later today. I've changed it a bit. It's still the 40 questions, but I've cut down your time uh, in between times. Whenever it gives you the, the answer or the questions, if that makes sense. When it gives you a question, it gives you four possible answers. That time has been reduced only by five seconds. I've reduced it five seconds. The reason for that is we always seem to overrun. And I know they come on today, so we're certainly overrunning. <laughs> um, I had an adventurous morning. Hi, Lauren. So Lauren is probably out to see how well she can do today. My MP says it's fine here in clock mills that is good it's actually dry while you're here but i saw the weather during the week i think wednesday's to be a horrible day right here we go question one what planet was superman born on so do you like superman i really do like superman i think the films and that was all very good but what planet was he born on was it mars if you think it's mars number one if you think it's earth number two if you think it's krypton number three if you think it's Jupiter number four, I'm using my other hand because I've, I say I've hurt my uh, my right hand. So I'm using my left hand, uh, and it's weird. So it will take me a minute to get onto. Hi Carly, hi Ben, hello Daryl, saying hello to everybody. Uh, yes, Gary, we do. You should be happy. Um, you've had the vaccine. Psh. Um, we've all had the vaccine now, so things are starting to. Uh, improve hopefully we'll get some government announcements about when things are going to change as well very soon so all is good be positive keep keep up oh everybody got that question right number three so everybody got the answer right to that it is of course crept another natasha hello emma um these are all doing very well one out of one and everybody's got the question right uh, Gary, we can't help how long it goes on. We are in a better position than a lot of countries, if you think of it but like that. As I say, always take the positive, not the negative. Always be positive. And um, Batman, what is the Joker's girlfriend called? Mm, this might be a tough one. What is the Joker's girlfriend called? Is it Miss Joker? Is it Robin? Is it Harley Quinn? Or is it he doesn't have a girlfriend? So who is the Joker's girlfriend, or what do you call her? Miss Joker, Robin, Harley Quinn, or he doesn't have a girlfriend? Yeah, I say 
be positive. Like the vaccine, is it 22 million or something have been vaccinated? We're running at about 40% of the population. All positive results. Be positive. Be happy. Sing if you want to be happy. Sing. La, 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 la. <laughs> There's loads of things you can do to, uh, to try and be happy. Is that a lot? Yes, it's a huge amount. 22 million. That's like the size of Northern Ireland times everybody here done about 10 times. It's actually more because it's loads and loads of people. So they're getting there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, everybody's got that one right as well. Two out of two. You're all doing really well. So it is only a game. It doesn't matter where you come. It's taking part. Hello, Emma. How are you? Hi, Colin. Hello, I've just seen you're on as well. Number three. Which evil, evil, haha, <laughs> villain killed Superman? Is it the Joker? If you think it was the Joker, then push number one. If you think it was, come on, screen, come back. If you think it was this, this or push number two. Number three. No one has ever killed Superman. You think that's answer number three, or is it Doomsday? Push number four, if you think it's that. What evil villain killed Superman? Hi, Neve. How are you? Hopefully, all it is good. What's Korean like today, or what's Akadui right like? Let me know. Simon will let me know. He's down in Korean today. Hello, Korean base. Everybody is in base. Let me see from my list. Um. Matthew, Philip, Jordan, Cameron, Gareth, Shane, and oh, all oh, lads in Korean base. I've just noticed I had a good day last Friday down in Korean. Uh, oh, mixture of opinion here. It is actually number four. If you said number four, then you are correct. It's dry, Gary said it's dry, but that's good. You could go out a wee walk. Hi, Andrew, long time no see. I haven't seen you about. Where have you been hiding? <laughs> uh, Dylan, Gary, and Lauren, you were the first three there. Number four, what animal can Mario and his friends turn into in the game Super Mario 3D? Is it a dog? If you think it's a dog, push one. Is it a, 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 is it a frog? Number two, is it a cat? Number three, or is it a shark? Number four, sun's baking down in Korean. It's 30 degrees. What? Simon, you must have left the oven on we need our shorts and t-shirts are you sure it's more likely to be three degrees and you need all your coats on that's bally money bally money's cold today i'm told uh hello to all back for another quads with cody just the normal there's no chat show you are right ben there is no chat show today but remember if you want to influence what happens on can tv and all of that then they had a wee post a wee video, it's about three minutes long before I came on. Uh, never a dull moment in my house. That sounds like our house, Emma, I have to say. Something always happens. So, Mario and his friends turn into a cat. Meow. <laughs> Very bad cat impression. Meow. <laughs> That's maybe better. <coughs> I'm going out after this. Need to be happy. Yes, go for a wee walk, guy. I was out this morning, believe it or not. Huh. Wait to see this. Just wait do you see this. Oh, I get my watch. Look. 4,700 steps. I was out this morning. Knew me today. <laughs> what is the leftmost pedal in a manual car called? So anybody that drives, even if you don't drive, have a guess. The man or the pedal on a manual car. Is it a brake? Number one, is it the accelerator? Number two, is it the super speed? Number three, or is it the clutch? Uh, Simon Khan, Domino's being delivered. Lazy people. <laughs> yeah. I'm only joking. I haven't had a Domino's. In, in fact, it was Korean base was the last time I had a Domino's. That was way back last year. Way, way back. Yes, as I was saying, I was out this morning, did a wee walk, and, that, and all I could hear was the birds. Cheap, 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 cheaps. They were everywhere this morning. There was very few people out. That was like at eight o'clock. I was up early this morning, went for a wee stroll. It's not like me, but I was feeling energetic today. Uh, 
Clutch is the answer. The leftmost pedal is the clutch. You put in the clutch and then you change gear. That's why it's manual, automatic. You don't have to do any of that. Um, so it is the clutch is the leftmost. This side. This side left. What colour of hat does Toad wear in the Mario games? What colour of hat does uh, Toad wear in the Mario games? Is the answer, he doesn't wear a hat. If you think that's answer, push one. Is the answer red? If you think it's red, number two. If you think it's yellow, number three. Or if you think it's green, it's four. Four. <laughs> I'll get my hands right. Uh, all is good here. Try oh, Trying to copy tapes to computer, that takes a wee while. I feel your pain. I did that ages ago whenever I moved some CDs and stuff. I burnt CDs uh, onto the hard drive on the computer. It took me ages. But long term, they're all there. And if you're really old, you remember tapes, <laughs> uh, which you can also change onto MP3 or MP MP3. And you can do records as well if you're even older than tapes. Oh, everybody's got that one. He doesn't. This is going to be a high scoring game. He doesn't wear a hat. Well done. You got that right. <gasps> Simon's got one wrong. It's what Lauren's saying. But he's saying, don't worry, it's early days. It's, it's just for fun. Doesn't matter where, where you come uh, in the cause. It's all taking part. Oh, Emma Ray. Uh, all is good here. Oh, you're trying to call. I thought that was Emma. Oh, Emma, that will take you a wee while. Number seven, what was the name of the man who cheated on who wants to be a millionaire? So this was actually shown live and he coughed or somebody in the audience coughed. And then ITV did another program just on on this person. So was it Chris Tarn? If you think it's Chris Tarn, push one. Was it Jeremy Clarkson? Number two, was it Charles Ingram? Number three, or was it Pat Gibson? Number four, um, is that your new watch? Yes, Gary, this was my new watch I got. You mind I told you at Christmas I was getting a new watch? Oops, let me bring it back. Look. Oh, it just went off there. There it is. Tells you the number of steps. Tells you your heartbeat as well. Um, it tells you the date and the temperature. It's nine degrees. Nine degrees outside. Oh, I don't have my weather station on, so I can't actually see what it is outside. But my watch is telling me it's nine degrees and it's cloudy. Charles Ingram is the right answer to this one. He was the one that kind of, when I didn't know the answer, somebody in the audience started to cough. <laughs> Amazing. Like, how you think you could cheat? He didn't actually get the million pounds in the end because they held it off him. Um, oh, everybody's got that right. Tomorrow I'm at base and you're doing art, Gary. Are you, you're in with Joel. You're doing art. This Friday we are doing cards. We're going to make some cards. Whenever I'm in base on Friday. Videotapes, I had them way back in the 90s. I know, Gary, so did I. I still think I actually have some. Okay, complete the song lyrics. Work a nine to five. What a way to make a... What comes after that? I'll give you a clue. It's Dolly Parton sings this one. Work a nine to five. What a way to make a day of it. If you think it's that, the answer, push one. Is it a jumper? How to make a jumper? That would be the end of it. Number two. What a way to make 11, number three, or what a way to make a dog go mad, number four. Hello, Katie. Hopefully you had a nice birthday on Saturday. See, I did remember. Um, it's one of those days. Did that boy go to jail? Uh, I'm not sure what you're on about there, Gary. Please let me know, and I will try and help you out. Um, so we're going nine to five. I'm not going to sing it to you. I'll spare you the, the pain of listening to me singing. But working nine to five, what a way to make a living. Yeah, number three is what you needed to say, Dylan. You were first there. Then Natasha, Gary, Lauren, Emily, and ten others. Whew, we're going quick today. Told you, you don't get as long to press the answer um, as you did previous. But you are all doing very well. You went a four-mile walk with AA. I know, Gary, because I saw you leaving, and it took you ages to come back. Uh, oh, him from Millionaire. Did he go to jail? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, Gary. I may, I'll may. i try and find out. For your number nine, what is the name of Homer Simpson's dad? He's also known as Grandpa, of course. Is it Herbert? 
Herbert, if you think it's Herbert. Push one, is it John? Push two, is it Abraham? Push three, or is it David? Push four. I know my fingers are going weird. I'm telling you, I'm not using my left hand. I am using my left hand. I'm not using my right hand. It's all swollen. See? Swollen and sore. <laughs> so you might see me like this the next day. <laughs> my, I'm only joking. I'm not going to casualty with it. It's been like that for a couple of days. So, uh, Yeah, the one that cheated. I don't know, Gary, if he went to jail or not for it. I don't know. He probably did. Because he was frauding. He was doing fraud. The answer to this one, of course, is number three. Abraham. Yeah, because you can't cheat. Yeah, cheating and trying to get a million pounds especially would be fraud. So I would say he did go to jail. But I can look up. I'll message you later and let you know for sure. Uh, Dylan, you were first there. Then Gary, Katie, Simon, which is Korean and Dorn. Aha, -ha! this might get you. What does the J stand for in Homer J. Simpson? Is it Joseph? If you think it's Joseph, push number one. Number two is, no, it's actually gone down there, and so it's not as bad as it was. Number two is Jack. If you think the answer is Jack, push number two. Number three is J, or is it number four, John? So the J is obviously stands for something, a, a chap's name starting with J, but is it Joseph, Jack, J, or John? It was swollen there, but it is going down. It's not as bad now as it was, and the pain's not as bad. So I think I've only sprained it. I've been doing something probably that I shouldn't. <laughs> Hello, Serena. How are you? Hopefully all is good. Hopefully everybody's good. It's Monday. I can wear my hat soon, spring. Yes, Gary, you can wear your hat. I wear mine all the time. And there is a there is a hat day coming up. It's in fact I will see you because I'll be in Korean that day. The answer to this one is J. The J, the letter J actually stands for J, J-A-Y. So did you get that right? Number three. International Heart Day is coming up for a charity event. And it's a Friday. So that's Friday of this month. Um, so we'll be doing it in, in Korean base because I'm done in Korean base. It's on our calendar. Red Nose Day is also coming up. I don't have a red nose, but look, I got these. Oh, what is the name of Dumbledore in Harry Potter? Harry Potter Dumbledore. What is his name? Is it George? If you think it's George, push one. Is it serious? You think it is? Push two. Is it Lupus? Push three. Or is it Albus? Push four. Yeah, look, I've got these for Red Nose Day coming up. A wee lanyard thing. So I'll be wearing it because Red Nose Day is a Friday. Everything happens on a Friday. So I'll be in Korean base that day. I might actually try and find it or buy a red nose. Uh, could you say hello from Daryl? Yes, hello, everybody from Daryl. How are you all doing? He's saying hello, everybody. So who knew the answer to this one? Number 11. I will wear my hat soon spring. Yeah, I, these are more my, well, the, I wear them all the time. But I do have other hats for summer, lighter hats. So they'll be coming out, hopefully. Hopefully we have a good summer. Oh, you've all got the answer to this one as well. Number four. If you said number four, then you were correct. Can we get one? Can we get one? Can we get one? Red Nose Day is the 19th. Thank you, Gary. Oh, Serena, I had to go to the dentist. <laughs> In the natal phonetic alphabet, which word is used for I? Is it igloo? If you think it's igloo, push one. Is it ice? Push two, is it Indigo? Push three, or is it India? Push four. So the way you would hear the police on the radios, and they do all of that. Bravo, Tango, Echo, all of that. But what is I? Is it in Igloo? Is it Ice? Is it Indigo? Or is it India? Um, Serena, not nice when you have to go to the dentist. I was there last week. Was it last week? Or maybe it was the week before. It was my checkup, and I forgot until the they phoned the day before and said, oh, you're in tomorrow for a checkup. <gasps> and I was like, so I had to then message Linda to say, oh, I forgot I have the, the dentist. But it was only a checkup and all was good. I didn't need anything. So 15 minutes and I was back out home. Yes. Because I was in first thing. Uh, are we doing anything on Zoom for Red Nose Day? You'll just have to wait and see. You've got two weeks. 
Um, I'm sure we'll probably do something, but we will see. It is in there. If you said in there on this one, you were correct. Kate, you want igloo. I would like it to be igloo. Indigo, nice color, but no, Emma, it is actually in there. Oh, snooker question. This might be a tough one. Which ball is worth five points? So five points. Do you get when you pot it? Is it red? I think it's red. Push one. Is it blue? Push two. Is it yellow? Number three. Or is it the black? Push four. Oh, Serena, you had to get felon. Not nice. I'm not a fan of the dentist. I don't mind going because usually I don't need anything. But whenever I was younger, I didn't like them. Not so bad now, so I don't mind them. Uh, are we doing something on Zoom? Simon has said, yes, we are doing something on Zoom. There you go. See, but what is it other than having red noses? And it's not punching people on the nose to have red noses. We're not doing that. You can colour in and stick on noses. So I say, yeah, I made a start. I managed to buy this. I found this in the shop. So I didn't see any red noses. They only have these. So I say, I got one of these, which is a start. So I'll try and get a red nose. Uh, in snooker, which one is worth? Oh, quite a lot of people actually went the red which was number one. The answer is number two. Nor and then William P was second. Emily, Natasha and Corian Bass. <coughs> Blue is the answer for that. Yeah, it leaves you with a sore mouth, it does. On a Friday night. Yes, Red Nose Day is on the Friday night, but we'll do something during the day for it. Simon will, will fill you in. Simon knows more about that than I do. Uh, it's three years this month that you've been living in Korean. Very good, Emma. Time flies when you're having fun. Number 14, what's the name of Batman villain that likes to use puzzles and clues to trick Batman? Is it the penguin? If you think it's the penguin, push one. Do you think it's the Joker? Number two. Is it the Riddler? Number three. Or is it Scarecrow? Number four. You want a red nose, Gary? I will... I'm not sure where you get them, but I will try and find out. I got this in the supermarket, but I said they don't have any of the red noses. Uh, can I buy one? If I find out where they're at, Gary, I will let you know. Uh, on Friday, Friday night, Can TV is oh, Simon. It's our birthday. Can TV is one year old now. I didn't know that. I knew it was coming up this month. Imagine. A year we've been on Can TV. Oh, everybody got that right. Number three. Do you remember how the quizzes used to start? I used to ask the question, then you had to take an answer. Now we've got high tech. You just push one, two, three, or four. In The Wizard of Oz, which is a film, who wanted a heart? So who wanted that? I should ask this question back in Valentine's Day. But who wanted a heart in The Wizard of Oz? Was it the lion? Number one. Was it the scarecrow? Number two. Was it the Tin Man, number three? Or was it Dorothy, number four? Dorothy, was it number four? Katie saying maybe Asda or Sainsbury's. So there you go, Gary. I will be in Sainsbury's uh, and Tesco's probably this week. So I will have a look out for you. I mind at school we did a big fun day for Red Nose and we all had a big disco. I know, Gary, I remember those way back as well. That We used to do all of that. But because we can't mix at the minute, we're not allowed to all meet up. So we can't do the disco and we can't do the big meet up. But maybe one day we can soon. You used to gunge people as well for Red Nose Day. <laughs> oh, the Tin Man wanted the heart. Of course he did. He wanted the heart. Uh, I'm not going to the 18th. Uh, I've had to swear wishes around my mouth to kill the pain. Oh, I, I know. Not good, Serena. You've got a couple of weeks then to wait until you actually get back to the dentist to get that. I know there's quite a wait on this at the dentist just because of COVID and stuff. So not good. The lion want oh Dylan has told me the lion wanted courage and he doesn't remember what the scarecrow wanted. And Corian Khan has said a brain. So who plays <clears throat> Ken Bardo in Carnation Street? Is it Jack Shepherd? If you think it is, push one. Is it William Roach? Push two. Is it Alec Bain? Push three. Or is it David Nilsson? Push four. 
Do you watch Carnation Street? I know a lot of our members do watch Carnation Street, so hopefully you'll you'll know this one. Simon's bought his red nose online. There you go, Gary. So you can certainly buy them online. Hopefully they were they have been delivered to Simon. They're not stuck in the, the sea border somewhere. So who plays Ken Barlow? He's been in Carnation Street for years. I used to watch this years ago whenever uh, well, whenever I used to be out with my granny and that, she always watched it. I'm not really a soup person, but oh, everybody got that right. Yeah, well done. It is, of course, William Roach. He's been in Carnation Street for years and years. Oh, and Dylan's just saying who uh, who all the rest of them play. eBay not working. I know, Gary, some things are very hard to get at the minute because of the this Irish Sea border and the the EU UK thing, so it's quite difficult to get some things. But Simon has got them, so you, they must be able to come across. What color is the star on Captain America's shield? So he's a big round shield with a big star on it. What color is that star? Is it yellow? If you think it's yellow, push one. Is it red? Number two. Is it white? Number three. Or is it blue? Number four. Uh, I haven't got my red nose. Oh. Simon hasn't got his red nose yet. He hadn't thought about that. <laughs> Should be, because they're usually just a wee bit of plastic, so there shouldn't be a problem with it coming over. Okay, you don't watch it. I don't watch it either. I haven't watched Carnation Street in years. Um, but lots of people do. All the soaps are well watched. Katie's saying, try Amazon. There you go, Dylan. I'm sure you probably can. Uh, they've all, they should usually be in some of the supermarkets. Say, I managed to get this. In the supermarket, so they might have red noses in now. What color is the star on Captain America's shield? A, a or it is white. Oh, Korean said red. The star is actually white, which most people did get. It's not often Korean slip up. <laughs> I'm only joking, lads. And that is whoever is there in Korean today. In the UK, what color is were traditional phone boxes? So what color were traditional phone boxes? What is a phone box, some of you may say, because we've got uh, everybody uses mobile, so there's not as many. But traditionally, the old phone boxes were painted what color? Were they green? If you think they're green, push one. Were they blue? Push number two. Were they red, number three, or were they gold, number four? So the old BT phone boxes, because back then there only was one telephone company and it was BT. Um, what colour were they painted? Mm -hmm. Now, of course, there's lots of phone companies and everybody has mobiles. So we tend not to use the phone boxes as much. Green, blue, red or gold. Phone boxes, there's still a few of them, although... They tend to be taken away because they get vandalised a lot now. Oh, there's a phone box outside Katie's house. Yours is probably one of the newer ones, Katie, like what's down in base, which is just kind of the perspex one. But traditionally, the old ones used to be red. I always see a red phone box on the route to Korean. Ah, so there is still a few of them. Bally Boogie, I know, still has one because I've seen it. Um, there's a few, but yeah, they were red. Katie, you were first there, so well done. Um... Who won last Monday's big quiz? Think back. Seven days. Who won it last week? Was it Lauren? Push one if you think it was Lauren. Push two if you think uh, it was Natasha. Push three if you think it was Corey and Bass. Or push four if you think it was Dylan. Uh, no, my old. Oh, yeah, the old ones. Phones and tablets are great. Yes, they are. It's a good way to uh, keep in touch, Gary. Megan saying, I hope you had a great weekend. I did, Megan. Didn't really do much. Saturday Saturday night got really cold. There was actually ice in the car on Saturday night. Um, I had a Chinese on Saturday. <gasps> After saying I wouldn't have a Chinese on Friday, I didn't have it on Friday, but I had it on Saturday. It was bad. <laughs> So who won last week's Big Monday quiz? It was actually Korean Bass. So did you say number three? Number three. If you said number three, then you were right. Everybody got that right. 
And amazingly, Korean were first. Um, I completed Super Mario Sunshine to 100% last week. Well done, Dylan. You must have spent ages on it. Who won the 22nd challenge then on Friday? Simon's 22nd challenge. Simon, be quiet. You're not allowed to tell Korean. Was it David? If you think it was David, push one. Was it Matt? Push two. Was it Lorna? Push three. Or was it Emily? Push four. 22nd challenge. Kate, you're the Chinese on Saturday night as well for your birthday. Very good. I enjoyed mine, I have to say. I usually like Chinese. Oh, and Ben, you got one on Saturday night as well. <gasps> Simon saying, Corinne's going to win a game. You never know. But who won the 22nd challenge? Of course, if you'd like to take part in the 22nd challenge, message on the page and let Simon and uh, Lorna know. It was actually number four. Emily, and I see Emily's taking part today. Hello, Emily. Emily won last or on Friday past. Well done, Emily. You didn't see it on Katie. Mm, quite hard there. Then hopefully you had a guess. Uh, but you guessed right if you were guessing there. Gary, you had a kebab. <laughs> uh, it took me a long time. There was 120 shins to collect. Yeah, I would say it probably did, though. It took ages um, if you managed to get 100% in the game. Number, okay, number 21. We're halfway, just over halfway. How many of the seven dwarfs starts with the letter B? So the seven dwarfs, put them in alphabetical order or just know them. How many of them start with the letter B? If you think none, push one. If you think two, push two. If you think one, push three. This is where it gets complicated. And if you think four, push four. So two is two, four is four, zero is one, and one is three. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm sure it does because you've played it by now. The computer randomly puts these in their order. Um, so I just type the answers and then it, or the answer in the three wrong ones and it muddles them about. So the answer in this one is bashful. Bashful is the only person that starts with B. So you had to say number one, but number one was actually number three. Yes, well done. You've worked that all out and you were able to get it right. So you're doing well. Oh, Dylan has this at them all. Even better, Dylan. Yeah, bashful is the only one that starts with the letter B. Don't, don't be happy, sleepy, sneezy, and grumpy. Okay, number 22. What colour is the live wire in a plug? Whenever you, you uh, see plugs, which are usually now closed, but if you do have to change a plug or somebody has to change it, what colour is the live wire? Is it brown? I think it's brown. Push one. Is it blue? Push two. Is it yellow? Push three. Or is it black? Push four. So this one might you might not be used seeing then inside the plug, but basically one goes to live, one goes to earth, and one goes to neutral. So what um what color is the live one? Ideally, you don't touch them because <laughs> <coughs> it will electrocute you if it's plugged in. So if you see this one, don't touch it. <laughs> if it's like in your cabling. Hopefully it isn't. So what colour is the live wire in a plug? I don't know. A live wire, they're just, uh, they're basically three wires and they're, um, one's called live. The one, the, um, and that goes to the live wee point. The answer is actually brown. They used to be red, but they've changed the colour so it's brown. If you're old like me, you may remember the red ones. But the right answer is brown. These days, everything is brown. Is the live one. What date is today? <clears throat> the reason as well being because a lot of people were colorblind. And so red didn't look red to them. But brown, apparently, for most people colorblind, all looks much the same. <clears throat> I think it's the reason why it all changed. To help people who were colorblind. So what date is today? Is this the seventh? If you think this is the seventh, push one. Is it the sixth? Push two. Is it the eighth? Push three. Or is it the fifth? Push four. 
when does clocks change? Gary, clocks change at the end of this month, the 27th, I think it is. It's so that's Saturday night of the month, <clears throat> whatever date that is. I think that may well be. I don't have my wee calendar, I'll just have a wee check. But today is do, 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 do. today is the eighth. Yeah, so you had to say number three. You said number three, you were correct. Yeah, 27th, Gary, is when our clocks change, which means it's brighter in the evenings, an extra hour. Today is the 32nd. No, Simon, you were wrong. Which language is spoken in America? Which language is spoken in America? Do we think it is as the main language? Because there'll be lots of languages spoken in most countries. Which language is spoken in America as their main language? Is it French? If you think it's French, push one. If you think it's Chinese, push two. If you think it's English, push three. Or if you think it's Russian, push four. So what is the main language spoken in America? French, Chinese, English, or Russian? Scrolling down my answers. All of them. Yeah, they are all spoken. But what is the main, the official language of the country? Do we know? Did this question trick a few of you? A lot of people in America speak Spanish, but that wasn't one of the answers. The main language which is spoken is actually English. But whew, everybody got, yeah, in America they all speak English. Dylan says he doesn't think there is an official language in America. The population speak English. Yeah, they all speak English, and most of them do. Um, what is a baby cat called? So what do you call a baby cat? Is it a kitten? If you think it's a kitten, push one. If you think it's a cub, push two. If you think it's a pup, push three. If you think it's a calf, push four. Uh, I want best buddies back soon. Yes, I know. So do I, Gary. Can't wait to get out and about. Can't wait to get eaten feeds to go to the cinema to go to the beaches to go here to go there hopefully soon we are waiting on government but hopefully come the summertime we'll be back to normal as we were last year or as normal as we can get we may have to wear face masks or that for those that wear them but that's fine not obviously when you're eating <laughs> it'll be very messy <laughs> but yeah we're hoping to be back uh, as soon as we can. Gary saying the hoodies are nice. I like the hoodies as well, Gary. But yes, hoodies are um, the hoodies. An answer to this one. See, so you've put me off now. The answer is kitten. Yeah, a baby cat has kittens. So everybody got that. Well done. You are doing well. Question 26. Who was Fred Flintstone's wife? So again, this was like a wee, well, there was films in it, but it was also a cartoon series. Fred Flintstone, what did you call his wife in it? Is it Wilma? If you think it's Wilma, push one. Is it Pebbles? Push two. Is it Benny? Push three. Or did Fred not have a wife? Push four. Gary says he loves cats. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> so who was Fred Flintstone's wife? Wilma, Pebbles, Betty, or he doesn't have a wife? I don't have a wife in the cartoon or films. Looking forward to getting Lauren Anderson back on the, <laughs> on the Miami ride in Barry's and watch her go green. Simon, that is a memory I will always have. <laughs> I will be honest. I don't think I will forget it. Yep, I know, Gary, you have a cat. I showed you a photo of my cat. You did? Um, you used to have a few cats. The answer to this one is Wilma. Wilma is married to Fred. Oh, 
Pirate Pirate Dog. My red face. Yeah, your red face was laughing, Gary, that damn port rush. So was mine. They were all very red. Who presents the wall and BBC One on a Saturday night? I'm actually really liking this game show. Um, I've started to watch it. I've missed it, but the last couple of weeks I've started to watch it and really like it. So who presents the wall on BBC One on Saturday night? Is it Jake Wood? If you think it is, push one. Is it Danny Dyer? If you think it's him, push two. Is it Steve McFadden, push three? Or is it Bradley Walsh, push four? On the train? Lauren, I don't think we were laughing at you. It was the fact your face turned colours. Which I've only seen twice. My cousin did something very similar down at the Lama's Fair um, when she went on it. And she did turn green as well. Now, she almost kind of was sick, but she wasn't. But uh, again, I couldn't stop laughing at her. So who presents the wall? Have you seen it? They drop like these bolt things down at Chicken Chickies down in and eventually lands at the bottom. The answer is... Oh, Gary, you watch the wall. Uh, number two, Danny Dyer presents it. Oh, everybody's got that right. <laughs> Basically, Rain knows all these because I don't. <coughs> See, Simon, you're, you're too busy doing other things on a Saturday night. When, where, not when, where is Can opening a new shop? So we're very excited with a new shop opening, but where is it opening? Is it Bally Castle? If you think it's Bally Castle, push one. Is it Belfast? Push two. Is it Coray? Push three. Or is it Corian? Push four. So we already have two shops at the minute. We've got Bally Money and we've Bally Mina. But where is our new shop opening at? Bally Castle, Bally Belfast, Coray or Korean. Do we know? The answer is number four. Gar, you're saying, can you work in it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm nothing to do with the shops, but I will find out. Um, I'll find out how you do work in the shops. I know Katie works in the Bali Money shop and that, so um, I say you probably go through Kevin because uh, Kevin does social enterprise, but I'll find out. Leave it with me and I'll let Joel know and then he can pass it on to you whenever you're in base. Um, how many hours are there in three days? <laughs> Same from saying this burn to that one. How many hours are there in three days? This might be a tough eight. Is it 26? If you think it's 26, push one. Is the answer 48? If you think it's 48, push two. Is the answer 62? I think that is right. Push three. Or is the answer 72? In which case, push four. So, how many hours are in three days? If you can work out how many hours are in one day, that may help. In fact, that will help. It's not it may help, that will help. <coughs> so in one day, there is 24. So 24 plus 24 is 48. 48 plus 24 is 68, 69, 70, 71, 72 is 72. So you had to say number four. Dylan, uh, Gary, Carly, William, P, Lauren, and six others all got that right. Again, I think this is going to be a high scoring game. You said, I've all got very good at the quizzes. You, you score really well. Oh, you see, Gary, if you're in Costa Coffee, you, you can't do split yourself in two. Complete the title of a TV program, it should say. Ready, steady. Ready, steady, what? Is it ready, steady, book? Push one, if you think it is. Ready, steady, look. Number two. Ready, steady, cook is number three. Or is it ready, steady, go? Number four. One, two, three, or four. What is the title of a TV show? Ready, steady, what? Book, look, cook, or go? 
Book, look, cook, or go. Hello, Jenny. I've just noticed you're playing along as well. So, you used to hold up, like, red tomatoes, I think it was, or green peppers. I think that was that. Oh, Jenny, you're in AA today. Very good. So, ready, steady, cook is the answer for you. You were in a race, kind of, to make stuff. Oh, Ready, Steady, Go was a musical program in the 60s. I didn't know that. Simon, I'll take your word for that. I only know it as Ready, Steady, Cook. You are going to Subway on Friday. Very good, Gary. That will be a nice wee walk out around there. We talked about doing that in base as well. Maybe not this Friday, but it's one of our things we might do. What is the name of the reality? What is the name of the reality show starting again on Channel 4? So you may know this, you may not. If you don't have a guess, is it called the square? You think it is? Push one. Is it called the rectangle? Number two. Is it called the circle? Number three. Or is it called the triangle? Number four. I really like this. I watched it last, or the last two series. It starts again tomorrow night, and it's a celeb special, which is on for a week. What is the name of the reality show starting up again on Channel 4? The square, the rectangle, the circle, or the triangle? Have you watched it? Do you know what it's about? Basically, people... Oh, everybody got it right. Well, Donna is, of course, a circle. So everybody's in their own room, and then you can either be yourself or you can pretend to be somebody else. It's up to you. Um, I've never heard of this show. Dylan, it's a very good show. I'm glad the base knew that one because you haven't a clue. I love the circle, Dylan. It kind of is also helps you to work out the internet and People with fake profiles and that. How can you know they're fake? So um, how many zones are there on tipping point? So again, another game show. How many zones are there on tipping point? If you think there's three, push one. If you think there's four, push two. If you think there's two, push three. And if you think there's five, push four. Uh... <laughs> I'm glad. Oh. Do you remember Big Cook, Little Cook? On uh, it was on a long time ago. Yeah, was that not like Blues, uh, Big Cook and Little Cook? Was were they not very Liverpudlian or came from Liverpool? Or am I thinking of something else there? Simon will know. Simon, help me out here because you said you can sing the theme tune to it. Was it there was like Blues Clues? <laughs> was that all to do with Big Cook, Little Cook? Uh, how many zones are on tipping point? There's four. So when you put your coin in, you say zone one, two, three, or four. The answer is four. So you had to say number two. Now that was a wee bit confusing. It's one of those ones when it's numbers. I used to watch that when I was younger. The show hasn't been on since 2000. It's nine years ago since it was on. Oh, I remember. Big cook, little cook. Uh, who presents Tipping Point then? So if you know how many zones there is, but who is the presenter? Is it Bradley Walsh? If you think it's him, push one. Is it Ben Shepard? Push two. Is it Philip Schofield? Is number three. Or is it Chris Tarn? Number four. So who presents Tipping Point? One, two, three, or four. Yes, I remember that. Big Cook. Little Cook. Yeah, it was like Big Cook. Little Cook. If I remember... <laughs> I maybe have to watch that the night or Google it to see it. It's been that long. Someone told me it was like a big bear thing. Or am I thinking on a different program? Don't know. You've got me now you're thinking. <coughs> but <coughs> who presents Tevin Point? <laughs> Simon says he wasn't born in the 60s, by the way. Yeah, Simon. We know. Just a butt. <laughs> So, uh, it wasn't BBC, was it? I oh, I can't remember. Bear and the Big Blue. Thank you, Gary. Bear and the Big Blue House. That's what I may be thinking on. 
Uh, ben, I certainly remember Gordon the Gopher, Simon. I do. I remember that. The answer to that one is, of course, Ben Shepherd. Uh, what color is teal? So number thirty-four. What color is teal? Is it a reddy, orangey color? If you think it is, push one. Is it a purpley red color? Push two. Is it a bluey green color? Push three. Or is it a greeny yellow color? Push four. So what color is teal? Yeah, I worked. Gary was right. I was thinking of bear in the big blue house. Thank you, Gary. So what color is teal? Red, orange, purpley red, greeny blue, or greeny yellow? <laughs> One, two, three, or four. Teal is kind of a bluey green color. So if you said number three, you would be right. Uh, mixture of opinion there, but yeah, most people did get it right. It was a green or a bluey green color. Nice color. I actually like that color teal. Yeah, Gordon the Gopher, way back, which was uh, Philip Schofield's days in the broom cupboard. Do you remember the good old broom cupboard? Which wasn't even a broom cupboard. But as a kid, I didn't know it wasn't a broom cupboard. Although it had a wide lot of TV screens. <laughs> uh, 35. What is the name of Bart Simpson's teacher, Mrs. Kabopel? So what is her first name? Is it Betty? Again, this is a Simpsons question. Is it Betty? Push one. Is it Patsy? Push two. Is it Marge? Push three. Or is it Edna? Push four. What did you call Bart's teacher? Mrs. Krabappel, what's her first name? Teal is a colour of the uniforms that some people wear in the TV show Snowpiercer. I didn't know that, Simon. I may have to watch it. Again, I haven't watched it. I watched uh, Hotel Cecil, or Cecil as they called it. I watched it this weekend <coughs> on Netflix. That's really all I did. Uh, what is the name of Bart's teacher? She is actually called Edna, which now and again you do. The headmaster usually calls her Edna for that. So, number four was right. Uh, it's, yes, I knew, Dylan, you were watching that. Uh, CSI Los Angeles. Uh, what game show? Did we not play last week? Excuse me. 36. So what game show did we not play last week on Can? Was it? The big Monday quiz. Was there no Monday quiz last week? If you think there wasn't, push one. Was it what's in the box? Did we not do it last week? Number two. Was it the 22nd game? Number three. Or was it Wheel of Fortune? Number four. So what game did we not do um, last week? Big Monday quiz, what's in the box? 22nd game or Wheel of Fortune? What do we think? It was Joel on Thursday. We did Joel paint it instead, a really nice picture. So we didn't have Wheel of Fortune. No Wheel of Fortune last week. So everybody got that right, well done. There was no Wheel of Fortune last week. Number 37. Only four questions left. Let's see how we can get on with these. We've got... Computer slow. There we go. Who is the vet in Peppa Pig? Ooh. Who is the vet on Peppa Pig? Is it Dr. Zebra? If you think it is, push one. If you think it's Dr. Crocodile, it's number two. Is it Dr. Hamster, number three? Or is it Dr. Fox, number four? So who is the vet in Peppa Pig? Zebra, Crocodile, Hamster, or Fox? Do you know? Do we know the answers? Have a guess. A Peppa Pig question. We usually have a Peppa Pig question. So what do you call the vet? 
just scrolling down. I think I'm up to date now. So what do you call the vet and Peppa Pig? Dr. Crocodile. He's too snappy. It's not Dr. Crocodile, no. Dr. Fox. He's too foxy. It's not him. It's Dr. Hamster. It's number three. If you said number three, then you are correct. Natasha, you were first there. Then Carly, Gary, Jenny, Ben, and six others all got it right. So well done. Oh, you don't know Peppa Pig that well, Gary or Dylan. Yeah, Peppa Pig. Number 38. What year did COVID-19 first appear in the world? <clears throat> so when was COVID-19 first appearance? Was it 2020? If you think it was, push one. If you think it was 2021, push two. If you think it was 2019, push three. Or if you think it was 2018, push four. Everyone is doing well. Yeah, they really are doing well. They're doing very well. <clears throat> So when did COVID-19 first appear in the world? 2020, 2021, 2019, or 2018? How well do you remember this? So it appeared here in the UK in 2020, but it was actually in China. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like Trump, China, China. Uh, in 2019, the right answer is actually number three, uh, which Gary, Dylan and Lauren got. Yeah, 2020 is when it may have came to Europe and the UK, but it was in China way back, way before Christmas in 19. It was actually November time, October, November time uh, reports started to come out. So it was actually 2019, number three there. Simon's going, oh, yeah, number three was the answer you needed. Number 39, okay, two questions left. What colour is the Teletubby Lala? Do you remember Lala from the Teletubbies? If you do, you'll know what colour Lala was, but was it yellow? If you think it's yellow, push one. Is it purple is number two? Is it green is number three? Or was it red, number four? So who, what colour is Lala? How, what, do you remember the Teletubbies? They, I don't think they have been on. Oh, that was a trick question. It was first detected in Wuhan in 1999 or 2019. Yes, Dylan, it was. 2019 was the answer we wanted. Uh, what colour is Tally Tubby? Lala. Lala. Do you know? Everybody seems to be going for number one yellow. Was Lala yellow? Yes, now that was yellow. Well done. Everybody got that right. So final question for today. Yeah, China got it in 19. They did. Are you all right on that one? Number Final question. Let's see what it is. Yeah, one more question. Come on, computer. Do your stuff and show me what it is. Okay, number 40, final question of the day. What do you call Postman Pat's cat? So Postman Pat's cat, what is his name? Is it Jess? If you think it's Jess, push one. Is it Bess? If you think it's Bess, push two. Is it Dress? Push three. Or is it Ted? Ted. Push number four. <gasps> Someone said you're losing. <laughs> <coughs> uh, Jess. Bess, Dress, or Ted? What do we think? Hello, Carly. Carly was with me on Friday. So this Friday, we're going to make cards, Carly. Hopefully, depending on the weather, because we have to go down and get some bits. Who won? We will find out in a minute. But it is just taking part that matters. If your name appears on the leaderboard at all, you have done really, really well. The answer to this one is. Number one, Jess. <gasps> Korean went dress. No, it was Jess. It was number one. So that may have changed it. Jess is a black and white cat. Yes, Dylan, that is the way the song goes. So the leaderboard, let's see where we appeared today. <clears throat> so 
two players who did take part but didn't actually get on the leaderboard because it only does the top 19. Emma Ray, you were 19. Rachel, you were 18. Serena, 17. Daryl, 16th. Jenny, 15th. Emma, 14th. Clarissa, 20 or 22 points. Well done, number 13. Katie, you were in at number 12. Neve, 11. Colin, previous one or number 10. Emily, look how high these scores are. 10. Uh, Emily, number 9. Corey and Bass, number 8. Eight. Ben, excellent mm -hmm. results here because they're all very high scored. Ben, you were seventh. William P, you were sixth. Well done, William. Excellent result. Carly, impressive. Number five. Gary, number four. Excellent. All the same score there, guys. So really, you were all joined fourth. I know it says four, five, six, and seventh. Then we had Natasha on. <laughs> 38 and for the first time ever <clears throat> two people actually scored full points we've had full points before but i don't i don't ever remember two people scoring so lauren you scored full points but i actually get pipped at the post by dylan because dylan answered slightly quicker because <gasps> that's how it does it whenever you all score the same points and it goes by who was quickest and dylan you just pipped her but excellent result for everybody 40 out of 40 is some <laughs> awesome achievement because that is like as high as you can possibly get anything like 38 awesome 37 really really good you are scoring really well so <clears throat> well done Dylan congratulations next week we will be back to do it all again with me around 12 o'clock if you are out and about as usual you know this by now keep your hands nice and clean um although the virus level is coming down there's still COVID out there so you need to keep your hands nice and clean. If you do wear a mask and you can wear a mask, wear your mask. And remember, keep your distances. Very important. Those are the three main things you have to do. Keep distance, wear a mask if you can. If you can't, that's okay. And also, wash your hands. Keep them clean. <laughs> Simon saying, Corey and one again. Did you hear him? Corey and one again? Number eight, Simon this time. We will see you all tomorrow. Simon will be here tomorrow at 12 o'clock. All being well. Have a good day, whatever you are up to. I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.